Hello again everyone. In this video tutorial we will be talking about a very important and crucial topic in trigonometry and that is called reference angle. So reference angle is simply the smallest angle between the terminal side of a given angle and the x-axis. Now as you can see over here we have an example where angle is 150 degrees so our terminal side turns out to be this one and the reference angle is going to be simply the nearest x-axis and that terminal line which turns out to be how much which turns out to be 30 degrees so and this reference is not only 30 degrees but also just keep in mind that is in a second quadrant as well let's look at uh, these couple of more examples and see how we're going to look at this thing in the this right hand side this example our angle that has been given to us is 225 degrees as you can see we are going counterclockwise and this is our terminal line can you tell me what is going to be our reference angle so the reference angle is always the nearest the smallest angle between the x axis and the terminal line so of course this is going to be this angle that is going to be this one so this is called the reference angle i'm going to use r e f angle and that turns out to be how much see right now so this is going to be a simply 225 take away 180 that's going to be what 45 degree and don't forget to make to to mention that this is in the third quadrant so i just want to make sure so the our reference angle is 45 degrees and it is third quadrant let's look at this thing the left hand side example our angle is 120 degrees so as you can see that our our terminal side uh, shows up in the second quadrant and the reference angle is going to be the smallest angle between x-axis and this terminal side and you can see this is going to be our reference angle this is and that's going to be how much so 180 take away 120 that's going to be how much that is going to be a 60 degrees so this is going to be 60 degrees uh, that is called the reference angle this one and by the way once again this is going to be in what in the second quadrant how about these two more examples in this case when we have an angle theta is negative 60 degree that means we are going clockwise so negative 60 means we are going this direction so the terminal line is going to be in the fourth quadrant so our reference angle once again is going to be what between nearest x-axis and the terminal line so that is going to be our so this is our reference angle and that is of course that's going to be how much 60 degrees because the reference angle is always positive and also make sure that is it is in fourth quadrant let's look at this on the left hand side example we have angle is theta is 65 degrees so you can see it is counterclockwise so the reference angle is going to be simply the nearest x axis and the terminal line so that is going to be a this part as you can see this one so this is our reference angle and that is obviously is going to be what 65 degrees and which quadrant is it this one this is going to be in the first quadrant now let's do a couple of example to make sure that uh, uh, 
you comprehend this idea. Right now we have been given the angle theta is 1100 degrees and we want to find the reference angle. So this angle is pretty large. How are you going to really simplify this angle? So we want to make our job simpler. So we want to restrict it between 0 and 360 degrees. So let me show you a simple kind of trick over here. So 1100 degrees could be written as, you can write as what? You can write 360 plus 360 plus 360 plus 20 degrees, isn't it? Now, one thing I want you to make sure that wherever you see 360, 360 mean that means uh, we complete a one revolution or one cycle. So that means you just simply disregard 360. That means we have already completed the cycle. How much we ended up with? 20. So that means 1100 degrees is same as 20 degrees. That's all you have to do. Now let's go ahead and draw this angle right now over here. So 20 degrees is going to be a since it's a positive. So we're going to go simply counterclockwise and that is going to be our 20 degrees angle. Now we want to find the reference angle. So the, this is our step number one was this one. This is our step one. So our step number two is going to be we want to find the reference angle for 20 degrees and once again for the 20 degrees the reference angle is going to be since in the very first quadrant so this is simply this is your reference angle and that is once again it is simply 20 degrees and this is once again in the first quadrant so once again your answer is simply reference angle is 20 degrees and that is in the first quadrant. Let's look at one more example and this time I have given you a pretty big number with a negative sign so this time it is we need to find the reference angle of negative 950. Once again the very first step I want you to make sure our very first step is I want you to restrict this one between 0 and negative 360. So this is what I'm going to do. Okay just look at it. Negative 950 I can write like this one. Just put this thing bracket and negative should be outside. Just leave it like this one. So once again, look at inside. This is what? 950. I want you to again see how many 360s you can break them down. I can write as 360 plus 360 plus 230 degrees, isn't it? If you add these things up, 360 plus 360 plus 230, that's, that adds up to 950. Once again, what I want you to do is just simply disregard these 360 and 360. Ignore those ones because they simply complete one cycle. So how much we ended up with? We ended up with only 230 with a negative sign. So we got negative 230. So what happened is simply we simplified this angle negative 950 degrees to negative 230. So our step number two is going to be we want to find the reference angle angle for negative 230 degrees. So let's go ahead and do that one. So let's go ahead and get started. So 
since it's a negative 230, so we're going to go clockwise now. So we're going to go, go this way. So this is negative 230 degrees. So right now, if you see this thing, this is negative 230 degrees. So our reference angle is, so this is once again, this is our terminal side. And this is our x-axis, so our reference angle is simply become this one and which is of course is going to be how much can you tell me this is going to be how much this is going to be a simply 50 degrees which is our reference angle and once again this is which quadrant is is this one this is in the second quadrant Hope you like this video. Thanks for watching.